All right, so today what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to take everybody for a ride, show everybody how to uh, properly break in uh, the rings in a brand new engine. I get asked this a lot. We build a lot of engines, and a lot of guys put these in their cars themselves. And they, I explain it to them, but I don't think that they quite understand exactly what I'm talking about whenever we say to do what we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to show everybody today actually on a uh, test run in this uh, 68 Firebird we built a 406 cubic inch motor for for uh, uh, Derek uh, Zedek and uh, this isn't anything real special it's just a uh, little uh, 406 9 to 1 compression engine it's got uh, Edelbrock Pro, ProFlow 4 uh, port fuel injection on it uh, Derek wanted a fuel injected engine which is cool and easy to start and uh, no warm-up time drives like a new car and this has got factory uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds on it. They're the header style uh, that you could get for the Firebirds of these years. And uh, But uh, anyhow, this car runs pretty good. But we're going to take everybody for a ride, show everybody how to break in the rings properly. Uh, so whenever you get an engine build or if you build your own engine, you know what to do. So uh, let's take this thing out. Have at it. Now this car is a, it is fun with the uh, fuel injection on it. Um, I'm going to show you how this thing, it's easy to start with the fuel injection. Now watch this time, probably won't do it, but no, it starts right up. want to do before you take your uh, whenever you're doing this make sure you have no fuel leaks no oil leaks no coolant leaks uh, make sure the engine is uh, sound the timing of the distributors torque down so it doesn't turn on you and uh, you know just make sure the things roadworthy you don't want to take this thing out on the road till you know for sure everything is ready to go Thank you. 